MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the National League Division Series between the Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, because this is a five-game series, this is an elimination game. I think that any time a team's season is on the line, they have to play like it. I think they'll be really aggressive and try to force the other team into some mistakes. If they play well, all of a sudden this series is all tied up and we'll have a Game 5 to look forward to. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Jose Quintana is on the mound, and he'll look to wrap up this division series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. Lefty Jose Quintana taking the bump right now. Really like this guy. Not overpowering, but great command of the fastball. And he does something a lot of lefties don't do. He'll come in with that fastball to right. He's three-pitch guy. Fastball, curveball, changeup. Throws all three for strikes. And not an overpowering guy, but he is really a control artist. First pitch on its way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. and First pitch, 7-0-7. The pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Here's the one and one pitch. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. And the pitch on two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously yeah, one yeah. of them. Another yeah, base yeah. hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. pitch of the at bat in there strike one in past meetings with Jose Quintana a very impressive five for six he's also hit a couple of home runs against him and set up behind the plate Rusty Valentine as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one Dan Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight he is north south without question letters to knees well, I tell you what he really favors a power pitcher if you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above He'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Acuna gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now the 2-1 pitch is in there for the second strike. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Patty Hurd. 
the first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. From the stretch. Ball one. Ball one, ball Runner at first here, one man out. Runner, runner, Runners runner. off for second. That's a strike to throw down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early in the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. The 2-1 home. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Popped up. Rizzo shading to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. That was cool. The left fielder, number 20, Marcel O'Dea. comes the first pitch. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Atlanta. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Felix Hernandez will do his best on the mound to keep his team alive here in the division series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's Chris Bryant now. Here He'll lead things Here's off here top. in the bottom half of the first. The third baseman, Here's the pitch. Ball. Now the 1-0. -oh. -oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. 3-0 to him now. Ball one. Turned on down the line. Camargo's got it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Batting second. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo.
first offering on its way. Whoa, that tipped out. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Outside, two and one. The pitch. That's a ball. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Oh, forget about this one. Bob, Bob, Bowie. Gone! Solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. His third home run of this series, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless, and then grab a huge home run in the first. Javier Baez. Yes, the first pitch sinker misses to him. It's ball one. Ground ball left side. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting four. No left fielder. The next Cub up, Kyle Schwarber, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. One and one to Schwarber. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. The Cubs get a run courtesy of Anthony Rizzo. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Chicago. Leading off of the play, the catcher, Bradley. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. And he fouls this one off. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Another one sent foul. Oh. 
rounded down the third baseline. Bryant is up with it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. That is big. The designated hitter, Adam Duvall. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1 0. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with two gone, let's take a look at our playoff bracket. And with this, of course, being a potential elimination game, will we punch a ticket tonight for that coveted spot in the NLCS? Now with the play, Ender Inciarte. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Bryant has a play. And that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They still trail 1-0. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Victor and the pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline but a foul ball here 0 and 1 pitch on the way and a sinker's in there for a called strike and he forges ahead nothing in two Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. Ball, back and back. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip oh. on to first to record the out. That is good. The right field. Jay said. So stepping in, Jason Hayward, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Nope, second time. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2-0 now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Next will be the designated hitter, Nico Horner. First offering on its way. In the dirt, and now let's see. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Two balls and no strikes to the Cubs' designated hitter. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. 
Two and one. I got two and one to count. He's fallen oh. behind now. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Hit out towards second. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, d and You can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. And it just wasn't meant to be. Ian Happ is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hernandez comes set. Here's the 0-1. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1-2. and two. two out with the man at first. Ball two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, way to get dirty. What a play. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Moving off to the play, the third baseman, Johan Camargo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. All ones to count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Grounded to short. Baez has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. First pitch on its way. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. The 0-2 once more. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Braves are set down 
They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the second baseman, David Bodie. The second baseman, David. First pitch on its way. One out. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that into memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Checked by Hernandez. The pitch hit down the third baseline. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the double play. The only problem is, is he can't guarantee it's going to be hit right at one of his infielders. Tough luck. And that brings up Javi Baez. Let's take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is wide. One ball and one strike. Hernandez readies the 1-1. One -one. Grounded to the right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base. And they're loaded with one away. Hey, guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. The second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. In now, Kyle Schwarber. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on.
and one and one as this one's in on the hands. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Bases are loaded with only one out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam. His third home run of this series. And the Cubs have now opened this up to a 5-0 lead. And that is why you just can't put yourself in a bases loaded situation. You've got nowhere to put the hitter, and he knows it. So he sets up, waiting to pounce, and that's exactly what he does. Jumping all over this thing for a grand slam. Now At the plate it. now, Victor, Victor Caratini. Victor. And he Carol takes ball Rossi. one. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Giro, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And Ciarte's there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now back, right fielder, Jake Hey, Hayward. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Outside, that's the ball. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Hernandez into the windup, coming home with the 1 1 pitch. Good job to lay off that 1 2 breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. Two two doesn't hit the target. It's ball three for the guy in the mound. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three two pitch pulled toward right center field. Inciarte will wait on it, and that will retire the side. But the damage is already done as the Cubs played four on this Grand Slam home run. We played three full. It's the Cubs five and the Braves nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Behind 0-2 now.
And another foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. Oh. Still one and two. And the pitch. Popped him up. Therefore, it is Baez, and he's got it for the first down. Now batting to first base, Freddie Freeman. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. A ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, nobody on. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep. Maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Yep. A ball and two strikes now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Two and two yep. to Marcelo Zuna. Two balls, two strikes. Here now the 2-2. I'd say this is a win already for the guy in the box. You find yourself down 0-2. You work it to even, and now it's full. You got a chance to do some damage in this situation. 3-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. The next to bat for Atlanta, Travis Garneau. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Runner on first with two away. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball.
ground ball right side. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Brave strand one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He cited their low chase rate or percentage of swings that are on pitches outside of the strike zone as one reason for their success so far in this game. That number is under 20% right now. So up and down the lineup, they're doing a great job of picking on pitches they're more likely to do damage with. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The designated hitter, Nico. First offering on its way. Nico Horner is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there. He's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looped over toward first. A flip to Hernandez is in time to record the out. The batter, number 13, second baseman, David Bodie. Striding in, David Bodie. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Hernandez looks in. Here's the pitch. Bodie. A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. The 1 1. Rounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We played four full. The Cubs lead this one five to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. Adam Duvall. First delivery to him on the way. Hey! Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Fouled away. Oh. 
to two balls and two strikes now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Gone to lead off the inning. Adam Duvall leaves the yard with a solo shot. His second home run of the series. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. Yes, he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Now the 1 0. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Now that third base, Johan Camargo. And the next in is Johan Camargo. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here it comes. In there for strike one. One run, two hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. High in the air out to center field. Hap is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. The batter, number seven. Football. Dan B. Watson. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right. Hayward is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Braves draw a bit closer, courtesy of the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Cubs five, and the Braves one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Chris Bryant. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Bullet back up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. On the 
his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper. And his arrival is going to mark the end of the evening now for Felix Hernandez. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Luke Jackson, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, d -Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Stepping in now, Javier Baez, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. The 1-1 pitch. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Set. Here's the 2 2. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Right side. And that is in the right field. The base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. pitch awesome execution right there great pitchers pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot the 0 1 pitch fastball whoa look out that just about got him in the coconut he went deep earlier so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate at the very least they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again and he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Popped him up. Darno over to his left. One out. Now batting, 
catcher, Victor Caratini. Digging in now, Victor Caratini. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. So he misses with a fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Look out! That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught onto their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now the payoff pitch home. Misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Here's Jason Hayward now. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. First offering on its way. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's now 7-1. to one. We're always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Nico Horner. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base. And two gone here in the fifth. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Runners on first and third. Two away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Inciarte on the run. He's there to track it down. And that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Cubs are on top, 7-1. to one. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Here's the pitch. Ball on that jump side. The 1 0 home is a fastball down below the knees. Swing and a miss, two and one. The pitch. Three balls. 
I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner, and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here comes the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. So next up will be Freddie Freeman as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One run on three hits and one error on the Atlanta line score. And he falls behind 0-2. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. This is on the ground over to first. The second for one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. The left field, number 20. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Two out, nobody on. And there's ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number 6. Cubs lead it 7-2. to two. Chris Martin enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the 6. Now pitching for Atlanta. Number 55, Chris Martin. Bottom of the 6th inning now. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. Ian First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. And that misses 1-1. One and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One and one. Here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The one-two. Oh, that's out. been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter if he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning now a 
foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first down. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat in that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Standing in now, David Bodie, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. A one count. Here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Acuna's there for it. Two down. Now that the third baseman. Oh, yeah. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Inside ball. ball one. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 1-0 home yeah. is looked at for the first strike. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The 1-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're on top seven to two. Stepping in for the Braves, Travis Darno. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone to lead off the inning. Travis Darno with the solo home run. His first homer here in the series as it's now a 7-3 game. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy in the mound that anymore. That hurts. At the plate, Adam Duvall. That's her way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Wind up and the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Lays off it to even the count two and two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball to strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Ender in Ciarte. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 
He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. And it's one and two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. So here's Johan Camargo. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hey. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Oh. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen. Braves draw a bit closer, courtesy of the solo home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Cubs seven and the Braves three. Grant Dayton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Grant Dayton. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. That's it's ball right. one. The 1-0. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And now a pitch on the way. Hit high, but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. A 2 1 home. Rizzo out in front here as this is pulled foul into the seats in right. Here now the 2 2. Just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. 
nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Count remains full. The next 3-2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rizzo will head for second. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The batter number yeah, nine. some guys have the ability to rise the occasion while some guys shrink away when it matters oh, the yeah. most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Into the box, Javier Baez. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And that's the first down. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, me. Schwarber will stand in here again and as he does it's a good time to flash you back to the third inning of the ball game as you take a look at his grand slam obviously a key blow early on he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. And this one gets away. And they almost get him at third, but he's just able to get back in safely. The one-two. Misses, ball two. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. taken high for a ball it's full now three and two that was kind of a gift to the hitter he's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone it's obviously easy to take that one yanked high and deep down the line in right and it's a foul ball one out and a runner on third. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Stepping into the box, Victor Caratini. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Two outs here with a runner at third. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Here's the 0-2. 
Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for the Cubs, but they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Jeremy Jeffers has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 24, Jeremy Jeffress. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Leading off for Atlanta, the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. He's set and the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. One and two, here it comes. And he got him. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0-1. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled on the ground is short. There's Baez. Throw gets him. Two down. Now that second base of the Aldi. Ready now. Ozzy Albies. He singled his last time up. From the stretch. The 1 0. Two balls, no fun. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and oh now. Freddie Freeman would be next. The three oh. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Saws him off with that one. But this is a foul ball. Hit hard towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. They're down four. It's seven to three. Darren 
Ryan O'Day is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56, Gary O'Day. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward. First delivery to him on the way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. Now the 1-0. Oh. This is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it two and one instead. High in the air. Camargo, just to the left of the mound, makes the play one away. Now that That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. So in now for Chicago, Nico Horner. It was a fly-out for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. Sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. One out, nobody on. He's oh, fallen behind you. now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Here's the three one. He loses him on ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Into the box now, Ian Happ. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Line hard toward right center. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. In now, David Bodie. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play.
fly ball out to straightaway right. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next to the call, the third baseman, Red Ryan. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Chris Bryant. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Ready with the 0-2. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Cubs strand a couple. They hang on to a seven to three lead. Casey Sadler comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Sadler. So striding forward now, Freddie Freeman will be the first to bat here in the inning with his guys in need of some ninth inning magic if they're going to force a game five. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Marcelo Zuna. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 0-1. Lays off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base in up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. All you can ask as an offense is to try and get that tying run in the batter's box. And they've started out nicely right here. They've gotten two runners on. They're down four. Grand Slam is still in play. Let's see if they continue this nice offensive approach. Craig Kimball takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Stepping 
in Adam Duvall. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Here's the first pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Second and third here, one man out. Two and zero to Adam Duvall. Two zero pitch, a fastball inside, and he's struggling here. It's three and zero. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. He thought that was ball four, but it's called the strike. Three and one now. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The three-one pitch. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hit to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. They get the run there, but this late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll definitely trade an out for a run that doesn't mean a whole lot. So striding in, Ender Inciarte. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. first pitch you know in this situation you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base that run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got the hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head one and one the count Hey, last two pitches back-to-back, -back, off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. The one-and-one one pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Final strike for the Braves. And that misses two and two. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. He struck him out, and that'll do it as they've won this series, so they'll move on. to them is to enjoy this moment celebrate with teammates and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS they've wet their beaks with this postseason success now they want some more well the man you see right there had a game to be proud of he really came through and it mattered and he's our top player of the game yeah just a great all-around performance from him at the plate as the stats indicate ended up with four hits including a home run so there is no doubt he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory
For Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak, and our hardworking crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the National League Division Series. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs, 11 hits. No error as they left six men on base. For Atlanta, four runs on six hits. One error as they left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Jose Quintana. The loss is to Felix Hernandez. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.